LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harris, and you're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harris and Combat Sports Show Live. And let me tell you, do something. Let me tell you, do something right now, okay? I just got through watching a video uh, from 78 Sports TV. Shout out to 78 Sports TV in the Lions Den. Shout out to 78 Sports TV. Because I know some of you emotional, feminine, booty breath, booger breath, butt boys. You go, oh, little 78 coach over there stealing your video idea. And I'm going to say, shut the hell up and know your damn level. That's what I say, because the coach will come right over there and I'll smack the yellow right off your team, and that's just the way that is. But, you know, um, now let's do the video, and he said that Aero Spence Jr. is going to demand Keith Thurman if he is victorious against Aero Spence. Uh, I mean... If he's victorious against uh, Kell Brook, you know, he's going to demand Keith Thurman. I've been wanting to see Spence and Thurman fight for about two years. Now, if you want a super fight in boxing, this is another super fight. This is another one of the great super fights in boxing. I, I, I mean, folks, that's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. This is the next best super fight in boxing. I mean, I just, I just got to tell y'all this. Um, you know, and you know, I used to always think that Keith Thurman was, like, afraid of this dude. I used to think Keith Thurman was afraid because it's like you ask him about Errol Spence. He would just take this roundabout way of answering your questions, you know. It would be a roundabout way to answer your questions, and he never would answer the question, like, straight up like you asked. It would always be like some roundabout way of getting to the point of the question that he never really got to. And that is, look, do you want to fight Errol Spence? Nope, this is Keith Thurman. He'll go, oh, well, let me tell you, it's going to take a fight. Uh, well, you know, uh, Errol Spence has to, uh, you know, he's got to fight somebody. And, uh, well, you know, Errol, Errol won't fight anybody. got to get some bodies on his resume, baby. You know, and uh, I'm doing great, baby, great, baby. Oh, uh, you know, I just got to get Errol Spence to, you know, uh, step up. Uh, uh, yeah, the fight that magnitude's got the marinade, and, uh, you know. Like, you gotta hear that, like, damn, man, that ain't what I asked you. Do you want to fight this dude? Like, damn, just, just answer the damn question. You know, he gotta go in, like, circles and all this other crap, man, and uh, don't nobody want to hear that, man. Just answer the damn question. Do you want to fight Errol Spence Jr.? And it just kind of seemed like, you know, he's, he's sort of a bit reluctant, man. He's a bit reluctant. And I used to think, well, maybe he really don't want to fight this dude. Maybe he don't want to fight this dude. Maybe he don't want no parts of that. Maybe. But then, you know, if Errol Spence Jr. is victorious, I mean, folks, we pretty much got to say, we as fans, we got to demand that fight. We must demand that fight. Because number one, okay, number one, and here go the thing. I agree with 78. Pacquiao not going to fight. No Keith Thurman. I mean, Pacquiao not going to fight him, man. He's not going to get in that ring with him. If he didn't want to fight Terrence Crawford, okay, if he ducked Terrence Crawford, do, do you think he really going to get in there with Keith Thurman? I mean, honestly, how you going to explain that? How you going to explain this? How? <laughs> how you going to explain this? <laughs> he can't explain it. He cannot explain this. He don't want to fight Terrence Crawford. He damn sure ain't finna fight no Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman, he need to get off of the Pacquiao stuff. He need to get off of Pacquiao. Get off of Pacquiao nuts, man. Pacquiao don't want to fight you. Pacquiao not going to fight you. He's going to retire, not fighting you. Floyd Mayweather. You know, it's like Keith Thurman is following in the Amir Keegan Khan footsteps. You remember how Khan, he used to try to step back and he would, you know, keep calling out Manny and calling out Floyd and... You know, doing all kind of weird, crazy stuff, man. That just make you think that nah, there's something wrong with him. You know, I, I feel like Thurman's starting to turn into a damn uh, uh, baby con. I'm going to stop calling him Keep Thurman. I'm going to call this dude baby con. Baby con, leave Pacquiao. Pacquiao don't want to fight you. Let it go. Floyd Mayweather don't want to fight you. Let it go. Like, And he's sitting side by side with Spence. He talking about he want a possible Pacquiao fight or, or Mayweather. But what the hell wrong with you? They, they, they not. Errol Spence is right there right beside you and you had your chance to say you know what this dude is a hot young prospect this dude got it you know but i'm keep one time thurman and you know what hey baby we can make this fight happen see that's what we wanted to hear as fans but you know it's the money hold the whole money thing ain't no money in this ain't no money in that 
Yada, yada, yada. We got to hear that all the time. I don't care about Keith Thurman person. I don't care about mo how much money he make. Look, get in there and fight the best, fool. That's what I want to see. Get in there and fight the best. Nobody care about your pocket. Man, get in there and fight. We want to see the, the best matchups. That's it. Man, you should have Keith Thurman got it. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't give a damn about no damn Keith Thurman purse. Ponytail ain't splitting on with me. Why the hell should I care? But anyway, yeah, that's how it is. You know, I, I, I'm with this. I think, um, you know, I think Errol Spence should call him out. And do more than call him out. Here, go to this dude gym. Talk junk to him at his own gym. Make this man get in the ring. I mean, you got, you, you impose your will on his mama. You talk, I mean, you, any, anything you got to do to get him in the ring. Anything you got to do to get him in the ring. And I don't know, I think one of his parents did. I'm, I can't remember which one of his parents died, but don't do that. But, you know, you do what you got to do. He got a brother. You talk about his brother. You talk about his aunt. You talk about his aunt. You talk about anybody you can to get this man in the ring. You tell Keith Thurman he can run, but he can't hide. And that, my friends, well, that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe.